All right, so this is just a quick video. We've got our connectors here. Uh, these are a PowerCon style connector. They are, of course, completely IP65 rated. Uh, you can't, well, it's difficult to see. Let's see if we can see it. On the very inside, right in the back there, there is actually a silicon seal that, that basically makes it so that when the, it's kind of gray, uh, so that when the, the front of this and, and the back of the socket meet, they actually seal completely and nicely perfectly. They're a fantastic quality connector. Um, on the back of the connector, let's see if we can see it. You can also see there's another IP65 rated uh, seal there, so it clamps securely on the outside of the, the electrical cable. Now to, 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 to actually put these together is super simple. You just uh, you basically unscrew the back and you push out from the front. There we go. Yeah. You so that? you just push the front through the back and then it pops out. And then and see so that's just and then it's just a sleeve. So we've got our different parts and you need to make sure obviously you put them over the cable before you start wiring it. But they all just they those three parts are just there. That's a, the gray part is a silicon seal which seals on the inside of the unit to keep it completely weatherproofed. And then we've got our wiring. And our wiring is uh, quite simple. You basically we have a, a screw at the top and we have a little uh, little shield that clamps out on the wire. So you basically slide that inside and then and then just bolt down using the little screw there. Uh, they are, all of the different components are marked. Uh, let me just see if I can get it on camera. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see it or not. So right above, I'm not sure if we can see it or not, but right above the little terminal there, there'll be a little marking for the three of them. And uh, the they are marked with, let's see if we can see it. So neutral is for is N, and then the earth marking is, it's an earth symbol. So it looks like, just like it uh, looks like on your power supply that we showed you earlier, it looks like basically three lines that look almost like a tree that's probably the easiest description uh, and then of course your active uh, it comes L. with an L for live uh, so those are the three the three ones make sure you wire them correctly so that they are standard so that anybody else you know if you were to use somebody else's cable whatever they work properly and so that if you interchange your plugs then they also work correctly uh, but super simple to wire up so basically you just just take these and just grab them. This one. Yep. Lines so you up. Just it's got a little, little bit that lines up. The rubber too has a little bit that lines up, and this one also has a bit that lines up. There we go. And then you basically get this bit. Slide it over the top. Right and it'll it'll mate. There's a little. If you just want to pull it out just for a second. There's. Pulling out. Uh, just pull out this part. Um, just rotate this. Just right there, you can see it. There's just a little channel, and on the inside, I'm not sure if we can see it. Okay, so just where my forefinger is, right there, you can see there's a channel there as well, and they just match. So you just you just basically slide that in, so it matches. These little bits that line up. Yep. Once this thing is actually, it there we go. In. Slides in real nice and easily, and then you just secure the back. And the back obviously is clamping, is creating that nice clamp seal on the back of the extension cord. Um, James has used a, an orange cord. I've used for mine. I just got a, like a three meter extension cord from Bunnings. Cut the cut the female end off of it, and then used it for this. Is it was like three dollars. It's like three. I think the extension cords at Bunnings are like a dollar a meter or something. You get it from Masters, Bunnings, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Um, and you just need to make sure all these little parts are all aligned. And of course, if you pull it out and don't mess with it like we have, um, it'll just go back together super, super easily. And that's usually what I do. Um, so wiring it up, and then you've got yourself a nice IP65 rated connection. Now on this one, uh, these are the, the female sockets go inside your box, and both James and I noticed that when you actually pull the little socket off, so when you buy your connectors, wherever you get them from, I think James got these ones from Jcar. Yeah. Um, so essentially, it's a 4.8mm uh, slot across, but 
there's but we noticed we both noticed that our our little connectors actually had more space on the inside than the than the tabs were thick on the on the socket if that makes any sense so what James is doing here is he's just taking a little pair of pliers and he's just squeezing it just to make it so that the there's less space between the the flat and the crimping section and so then it'll it will provide positive pressure and so then when you push it down it's going to be hard to push on but it also means that it's securely fastened uh, when you try and pull it off. So that's what we've done. Um, we would recommend that you do it or you speak with your electrician and make sure that that's what they recommend. Uh, but we, uh, but that's how you use the plugs and the sockets. You can actually twist two bits of 2.5 millimeter together and fit them into a yellow one. Fantastic. Or you can get a single one into the blue ones. Great. So, uh, as we said, speak to your electrician as you get it done and get it done safe. And uh, we hope you enjoy your build.